looking after your neighbors in the village, a birth kit for healthy mothers and babies, this unique malaria test, and an app determining heart rhythm disorders. These are examples of innovations featured on the Health in Your Hands platform, an independent initiative developed by the Global Council on Health for the SDGs in Action campaign of the United Arab Emirates, launched at the World Government Summit in Dubai. The initiative places health in an ecosystem and at the nexus of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The innovations address dire health care needs worldwide, especially for those in low-resource settings with little access, made more urgent by the coronavirus pandemic. The featured innovations range from simple mobile-based applications delivered directly to health care workers and those in need to enterprises that deliver services and products. Co-founders Dr. Judy Kuriansky, a U.S.-based psychologist and professor who heads NGOs accredited at the United Nations, and Dr. Sharia Khalid Erickson, a Malaysia-based surgeon and impact investor, lead the SDGs in Action Global Council on Health. Having advocated about health and mental health for years and doing trainings and workshops around the world in low-resource and crisis settings for children and families in Africa, Asia, and the Caribbean, I know how critical it is to have accessible, affordable, and quality care. The Health in Your Hands platform is built with a very simple promise. Work with the best in-class market-based solutions to scale globally through leveraging cross-sector collaborations and connecting them to capital to become financially sustainable. The team includes students and youth. Health in Your Hands has given me the valuable opportunity to expand on my academic work by learning about what's going on in the real world to meet people's health and mental health needs. Health in Your Hands was presented at the United Nations Science, Technology and Innovation Forum after winning an SDGs in Action Award at an event during the high-level political forum sponsored by the United Arab Emirates on a webinar hosted by the United African Congress on a blog post for the World Economic Forum at the Health Innovations Exchange at the World Health Assembly and at a side event at the UN General Assembly. Many countries are on the path towards achieving health for all by 2030. Others will need to accelerate their efforts so that no country, community or person is left behind. The platform aligns with international agreements about universal health coverage, the Astana Declaration on Primary Health Care, and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. For example, a 1001 Fontaines that provides clean water to remote villages targets many SDGs by freeing women from fetching water, using efficient solar power, creating jobs, and providing education for villagers and children. Likewise, this innovation in India converts biodegradable waste from toilets and addresses many SDGs, including sustainable cities. I was born in a village where people had to travel far to get to a hospital. For every 6,000 people, we just have only one doctor. If I am able to use technology to touch millions of people, that would be wonderful. Indeed, technology is an increasingly valuable tool. iCure, working with IBM scientists, uses artificial intelligence to bring doctors virtually to patients' bedsides. Handheld software connects community health workers to those in need, while other software provides surgical education and training. Video links connect women to female health care workers who can't work away from home in Pakistan. A free phone hotline offers access to health advice. And in a new tech venture, health and life insurance is available through mobile wallets. The brainstorm of Reach 52, supported by UNICEF Innovations FinTech for Impact. What if there is no internet connection? Well, for the first time, satellites are providing health care and training to remote parts of Nigeria by the nonprofit Instrat Global Health Solutions with funding from the Nigeria government. And drones can help deliver health services and products to people from Village Reach and their technical partner Swoop Aero, working with the governments of Malawi, Mozambique, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Those drones, and even going door to door, are necessary adaptations due to the coronavirus pandemic. For example, Cushy Baby, the Indian word for happiness, expanded their app in Necklaces for Children that scans and digitizes their vaccination record to a new app where 50,000 female community 
community workers go door-to-door -door collecting data on 12 million people to screen for coronavirus and other health risk conditions. Also, the pandemic increased the demand for this universal anesthesia machine and ventilator in places where oxygen and electricity were not available. Ultimately, to leave no one behind, healthcare must come to the community by such mobile lab-equipped vans or by teams of community health workers. I went for an HIV test and I found myself HIV positive. I asked myself, what can I do so that I can also help the community? There is no health without mental health. Self-esteem, crucial to mental health, is supported by peer mentors of young girls in the Mothers to Mothers project. My peer mentor, America Girl, taught me of sex, reproductive health, sex education, how to reach on to my goals. For sustainability, funding is essential. Now, we are raising one and a half million to be 100% matched as a Gavi-infused paysetter. Partnerships are also key, promoted by the Health in Your Hands platform including with governments. Governments that are excited to be seen as trailblazers. In Malawi, we see the teams from the reproductive and maternal health units also being recognized for their leadership and their innovation. And public-private partnerships, like Reach 52 working with Biocon, providing insulin for only 10 cents in Southeast Asia, and with Philips on an ultrasound machine for midwives to use in rural Philippines. Such innovations are moonshots, like a rocket ship to Mars or the moon, now the popular term for radical solutions to big challenges, like achieving health and empowerment for all. I'm now unstoppable. She has got the power. I've got the power. <laughs> <laughs>